Hey YouTube, this is the second video for today on my, uh, this one will be on my Troy Retro Rifle. First, name on the magazine. Yeah, it's hard to do this one one handed. Nothing in the chamber. This particular rifle is uh, <clears throat> one of Troy's retro line, which from what I looked up, they don't make them anymore from as far as I can tell. This particular one's a reproduction of uh, the, ri the rifles, the uh, Delta Force guys that were in uh, Operation Goff as a serpent carried, also known as Black Hawk Down. Supposed to be a XM4, just kind of a Franken rifle in a lot of ways. Like the uh, lower receiver is supposed to be uh, an A1 style, but it's actually A2. They just uh, milled out underneath where the front takedown pin is to make it look like an A1 lower. And as a a1 style rear sight, but still has, but has a uh, the brass deflector and forward assist, and a M4 profile barrel. Also has a, I don't know if it'll show up there. Has a uh, rail section right here for flashlight or maybe a laser, but I'd probably just put a flashlight on there. Along with a uh, carry handle rail sight, which has a. Uh, Hole through to get still use the iron sights. Then the receivers and cylinder mail parts are in like a uh, charcoal gray, like some of the original M16s were. And also it has a uh, fake selector markings and a fake third pin, which is just a stamp put into the receiver to make it look like it has an auto sear. But it actually doesn't. Along with the uh, fake U.S. property marks. And, uh, as you can tell, it's a very, very low serial number, so I don't think Troy made a lot of these. And I don't think they were particularly popular in the retro line. I think most went with the, uh, Vietnam era shorties like the Gal 5. I know they came with this, uh, I think they said it was an Israeli sling, but I'm not sure. It hangs off the front sight and, of course, the rear back here. <clears throat> this has an A2 grip, if I did not say that already. And, uh, the plastic collapsible stock. That they transitioned after they stopped using the uh, the aluminum stocks on the shorties, and before they got the uh, modern M4 style. Pretty sure he's a one heat shield handguards. I think they might be original Colt handguards. They might have reused for these. <laughs> of course, analog for what that's worth. Yeah, this rifle might also be going to a new home, along with the Mac 90. Preferably the Mac 90, just because I like this rifle a little bit more. It's a little more sentimental value to me. And it goes along nice with my uh, Bushmaster. M16A2 clone. But anyway, thanks for watching one of my terrible videos, especially when I'm holding the camera instead of
scare me all in one place while I move around in front of it. But uh, hope to see you guys again soon and have a nice day.